What's up guys, welcome back. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about my favorite camera, the camera that I use every single day. My go-to camera. Which one do I pick up to use every single time I've gotta take pictures for listings? You'd think it'd be this one, right? Let me start off by saying that I've had a ton of cameras over the years, and when I actually started, I started with a Canon Rebel. That was a great camera for this purpose, for taking photos. A lot of people use their smartphones. I'm actually using that to record this video right now. The camera on there is great, but it just is not my style. It's not what I use to list every single day. The reason I don't like this is the same reason that I got rid of the Canon Rebel, in that it's, it's just too heavy. Like, you don't want to be sitting there... But, I mean, this thing's got to weigh like three pounds, and three pounds isn't a lot, but if you're taking four or five, six hundred photos in a day, three pounds is quite a bit. The reason I don't use my smartphone, and I'm, I'm, I would love to hear the way you guys do it, but in order to use a smartphone, it seems as though you'd have to take a picture, and then you'd have to list right there. I mean, I guess you could save it, but what I like to do is I like to take a bunch of pictures, put the description in this box, if you can see here, this whole thing, and I've got tons and tons and tons of these. All the listings are right here. And so I go through, I take a picture, I put down what it is, and then go back and sit down on my computer and I can knock out two, 300 in a day. So the camera that I use, which might surprise you considering the array of different cameras I have around here, be this guy right here. This is the G7X Mark II. And I bought this new, this is actually seen quite a few years. I think they're on to the Mark III now and they should be releasing the Mark IV, which I'm probably gonna pick up because this one is absolutely awesome. It's quick, the autofocus is, it's okay. Uh, they said for the Mark IV that it's gonna be a lot better, but for my purposes, this thing works great. It's super light, it's super, and it just, you point it down, you click it, and it's, it's just ready to go every single time. It, it doesn't take the best pictures in the world. It's not to the same quality as this, but I don't need 42 megapixels to shoot for eBay. I don't even know what the resolution is for eBay, but I'm sure it can't be more than eight megapixels that they use. I don't really know off the top of my head, but I can't imagine it be any more than that. Um, the color science on this guy is really good for photos. On eBay, especially now with uh, the new adjustments that you can just brighten things up. So right now you have the, the option to use the eBay's little slider on to fix photos. And if you just brighten it up a little bit, this thing works wonders. I will say that in a pinch, I have used a smartphone, but <laughs> yeah. So in a pinch, I do use a smartphone. Like if I've only got two or three things to list, I can just take a picture of it, put the little title in there, get it done. But if I'm gonna be sitting here listing all day, my number one camera that I pick up every single time, this bad boy right here. I would love to know what you guys use for a camera. Mm. I'm always interested. I've, I've been thinking about getting the Fuji Film X100, but I think they're coming out with a new one this year, so I'm gonna probably hold off. This one for eBay is, is you can't beat it for this price. I think now they're like 600 bucks. I would definitely grab one if you, mm. if you have the ability. Ah! 